Jeez, where's Smokey the Bear when you need him? Attention folks, in this review we're showing off the game Fire Tower from Goliath. Don't leave us burned, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Fire Tower is a game for two to four players, ages 10 and up, and lasts for 15 to 30 minutes. The object of the game is to avoid having your tower burn down and be the last one standing. This is one of those games with a lot of specific rules and occasionally exceptions to the rules, so we're just going to cover the basics. First off, check out the very bright watercolor board and colorful game pieces. Every player starts with five action cards, which they keep secret, and the win direction is determined by a die roll. Each turn has two parts. First, a player must play a fire gem on the board in the direction of the wind, handily shown by the wooden fire piece and weather vane. Then you can play an action card or discard from your hand and redraw up to your max hand of five. The four action cards are wind, fire, water, and fire break. Wind allows you to change the wind direction, which is good if the current direction is disadvantageous for you. Fire allows you to play a formation of fire on the board, which does not need to follow the wind direction. Fire breaks block spreading fire gems and can be played via their respective cards. Play them defensively to thwart a potential attack. Lastly, water cards can remove fire gems from the field. Event cards must be played out immediately upon being drawn. The Firestorm card is a real monkey wrench, dramatically increasing the fire gems in play in a randomly determined direction, but also it allows all players to swap cards if they so choose. Mutual aid allows the player who drew the card to determine everyone's next turn. If your tower catches fire, you can use your bucket card once per game after which you gain Reckless Abandon actions, which allow you to sacrifice your normal turn and three cards to play two fire gems anywhere you want. If fire reaches the very back corner of your tower, it's game over for you, or is it? Elect to play as the Shadow of the Wood in a game of three or more players to try and earn a Pyrrhic victory by burning down the remaining players on your turn. If one tower manages to survive to their turn, they win. Fire Tower appears to have a lot of rules based on the very detailed instructions, and it does, but once you get a grasp on the basics, you realize how simple it actually is. Which element do you most align with? Fire, water, wind, or fire break? Let us know with a comment. Fire Tower has nice pros. The game decor is bright and colorful making the action easy to follow. It's a game that leaves a lot of room for strategy, but keeps enough elements of chance to be exciting. And there's a way for eliminated players to stay in the fight with the Shadow of the Wood mechanic. The only con is that it's not all that quick to instantly pick up. You'll have to spend some time with the game before you get comfortable enough to really start playing beyond superficial strategies. Even so, we give Fire Tower from Goliath an excellent four and a half out of five stars. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.